What's up everyone, it's your girl Jai Gitao here. For those who are new to the channel, welcome, Karibuni. Feel free to take a seat and hit that subscribe button that can become a part of the family. For those who are back for the second, third, or even umpteenth time, then welcome back to my channel. 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 So I guess you can tell from the music and from the like cup seat here and no brown door at the back that I am not at home. Eh, hey, new talk and you imagine. So, <laughs> we are at Heritage Chronicles. And we'd like to get some footage today for you guys. If you're here, if you're not here, it's for you, yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk, a, talk to a couple of Kenyan brands and the idea is to get them to engage us on five pertinent issues or however many pertinent issues we are going to get today. Very relevant to the climate, the environment, your life, my life, how many are they? So before I continue with my yap yapping, see, we just go ahead and talk to the brand. Well, I feel for most natural hair consumers here in Kenya, we rely mostly on products which are bought from outside because we hear something from outside and we go like, yay, it should be amazing, it should be the bomb. And forget that, the Kenyan products here we, that we make here are also as amazing as the ones that are made outside. The only difference is that when you hear something is being made here, you feel like probably to have some fakeness, it won't be as amazing as something that's bought from outside. We have a of sunshine, we make sure all our products are water-based, so that means it's safe for use for everyone, it's sulfate free, especially for natural hair, because most of us, our hair doesn't do well with sulfate, it keeps breaking. So for us, all our products are water-based, make sure that it's okay for any use from age zero, that means an infant to whatever age. So we have the black soap, which we have changed to cleanser, which works perfectly okay. You can use it as a shampoo, body wash, use it on your face. And then we also have a deep conditioner. That one you can only use it once a month because of the protein treatment that we have inside it, which makes it too strong. So you have to use it probably once a month. And then we also have a um, Mkado conditioner, which when you use we're used to washing our hair probably frequently, so we just do it once a week or as often as you want to, so yeah. We have several Kenyan brands in the market and uh, it's growing by day and I love the fact that the, the consumers, they are ready for us, they are appreciating the work we do and I've had people asking, is it really natural or we're just using the name natural for commercialization purposes just to win the market. But uh, if I speak on behalf of Sarah Organics, we actually do natural ingredients. And even when we go to the, to the issues of things like preservatives, emulsifiers, stabilizers, we've only used the ones that are Cosmos approved. So if an ingredient could be an emulsifier, but it's not Cosmos approved as to be used in a natural uh, formulation, then we do not use it. And we are very open. You can just read our ingredient list. You'll see we use uh, Nautica Organica, we use uh, BTMS, which is an emulsifier, cam rheology modifier. And all this just shows how far we are ready to go to just get the best ingredients that basically not harming the environment, not harming you as a consumer and rewards you at the end of the day. The results from our from our own customers, they come back with beautiful reviews, how their hair has grown in both volume and length. They have been able to heal even alopecia issues. We've had a very good case of a client who actually had an alopecia on top of her crown and using our scalp oil, which is actually and a blend of natural oils from coffee bean oil to milk thistle oil to ooba to baobab it has basically helped her gain back the 
the loss, the hell of citrus at the center of the crown. So yes, we are doing a good job. We are not just saying we are natural just for the name, just for the sake of marketing. We are natural as the word goes to the raw bit of it. Thank you. My name is Phyllis Nyambura and um, I'm a formulator, I'm a cosmetic formulator who uh, uses uh, a lot of botanicals, botanicals, um, plants that can be used in cosmetic, rosemary, hibiscus and uh, shikakai. So Ayurveda in Kenya, I think it's speaking, it's, uh, people are, are knowing that these herbs really work and that's why we're using our products and because they're strengthening and they're conditioning and they stimulate hair growth. Because it's nature, it's not, it's not formulated in a, in a lab somewhere. People will understand that these herbs work and these herbs are available in the country locally because everything is sourced locally and anyone can go to and buy from any shop. Yeah. Essential oils have picked up because they have values of how they help people with wellness, they heal stuff. Like everyone will now try and adopt it, so now that leaves something for people to get into. Like there's a new business, so that also means that there will be counterfeits and originals. 2012, that's when we began the conception of the brand. And for a period of five years, we did our research of where to get things organically, naturally, from people who don't abuse animals. Everything should be natural, yeah? So with that we also had to do our research on how to know when something is fake or when it's, not, when it's real. From credible resources after doing our research and really toiling, 70% of everything that comes into the market sometimes is fake. For example, if someone was to sell you rose essential oil or rose hip essential oil for 30 ml at a thousand bob, I can guarantee you that is fake. because. It's easy for someone to just add things and say, oh no, it's this and that. And at Blends of Nature, we've already done it for you. We've sourced it organically. It's natural, there are no parabens, there are no sulfates. There's nothing that added or preserved. So like in this bottle, we have 15 ml, this is a peppermint. Normally we'd even have it written where the origin is from. So after doing all this research, we even had to take these things back to the lab where we got a certificate of analysis, COA, and everything was satisfied to be purely 100% the material, i.e. peppermint. So basically, that's how we feel. We don't mind it. We just want it to be safe for everyone so you don't have to struggle in life. So I got to speak to a couple of Kenyan brands, four in particular, and I like that they were able to answer questions that just go beyond their brands and actually to what we need to know as natural hair consumers. Thank you for everyone who participated. I know it's not actually guaranteed when you ask someone for an interview, they give it to you. So if you participated, maze shout out, thank you, we appreciate it. And Kawama Kawaida, you know, if you're new to the channel, we usually have a dream here. If you've gotten to this part and you still haven't subscribed, here, we'll wait for you. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can get alerts whenever I drop new videos. Come on, Mefika, help up here. Hit that like button. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Share it with a few of your friends and feel free to stick around. We love more people coming on board. We have to post some my people, so I will see you in the next one. Ah, okay, I'll have to do that. Um, the cells representative of Harvest of Sunshine. Should I be looking at you or her? You can look at her. Just look at her. <laughs> most comfortable I don't know, not looking at you. The camera, the camera, see where we are. Make me look good, Nikki. Tag you and say, oh, that was me, that was me. Oh, like, oh. I hope that works. <laughs> and I like that they were able to answer a few questions about very pertinent.